This green magic broccoli is just really performing. It is doing so great. We've been harvesting it and cooking it and eating it and it's been really good but I've got so much out here right now that's ready. I'm going to go ahead and harvest it all today and I'm going to put it up in the freezer. Those guineas are so loud. But you know what? They're pretty good guard birds. They're doing their job. I believe they're keeping the deer out of my garden. We had a deer that was getting our cover crop over here, coming up and getting the cover crop in the back bed. And ever since we let the guineas out and were free range, no sign of deer. So maybe they're doing their job. Um, this is green magic broccoli. And I'm gonna tell you what, I love this broccoli. I think I've never really grown green magic. This is my first year to grow this variety and I am loving it. I think this is my favorite broccoli that I've grown so far. I really like it a lot. It is a great performer. It's making these big, huge broccoli heads and it's just doing really, really well. The cool thing about broccoli too is it's like a cut and come again. So you can cut it right where the head is and it'll keep making these little shoots of new broccoli heads. But we've got so much ready out here. I wanna go ahead and get it all harvested and get it all put up so we can continue to eat good fresh broccoli. It's time to start getting our seed orders in and that is one of my most favorite things to do. I love to get all of my seed catalogs a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, sit by the fire, go through it, get my seed plan in order for the whole year. I organize my seed plan for the whole entire year and I order all my seeds that I need for the whole year. And it is just one of my most favorite times of the whole year. I enjoy that so much because it's just dreaming of all the possibilities and all the hope and anticipation of what the garden's gonna be next year and just going through those seed catalogs and just placing orders and reading about the seeds and everything, that is just one of my most favorite things to do. So y'all consider when you're ordering your seeds this year, y'all consider Hall Stools. They are really good. They have really, really been impressing me with the quality of their seed and the germination on all of their seed has just been excellent and they're just really a great company. And I just saw where they're gonna try something new on their most popular uh, varieties of seeds that they're growing. They're putting in little uh, labels with the pack of seed so that when you sow your seed, you've got a label to put in, in your seed tray. And I really like that. Just their attention to detail and the row by row show is just full of so much knowledge and information. I, I really recommend that company, Hoss Tools. So I'll put a link in the description of this video to Hoss Tools. And if you guys wanna order your seeds from them this year, we would appreciate so much if you would just use the link that we put below to order your seeds or any tools or materials that you need for next year. And at no extra cost to you, we get a little commission off of whatever you order. So we would really, really appreciate it. Champ's ready for next season too. We've also got some beautiful purple cauliflower that's ready. I love this purple cauliflower. I grew it for the first time last fall and I love it. It is so pretty and it's beautiful on a plate. It's just gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest all of this too and just mix it in with my broccoli and put it up. You know what I think is just so cool? I think it's cool how the leaves just wrap themselves around the cauliflower heads to protect them. I think that is just so neat how everything just takes care of itself. Isn't that gorgeous? Now these are Brussels sprouts. 
somehow I got my Brussels sprouts, my purple cauliflower, and my broccoli all mixed up. So they're just kind of sporadically in these beds, but it doesn't matter. This one could have got a lot bigger, but I just went ahead and harvested it. Isn't that beautiful? The garden is not perfect. There's some issues out here. There's some disease problems. There's a lot of grass and weeds in my garden this fall and winter. There's some insect issues. There's some major issues with moles, voles, or armadillas. I'm not really sure what all's, what's out here doing all this damage. Whatever it is, is just digging massive holes all in the garden. great thing is though an imperfect garden can still produce a lot of beautiful delicious food this cabbage is huge Look how big it is compared to my hand. Wow. Wow. Look at that. That's huge. Wow, so pretty. hard time cutting through and I got a sharp knife. There we go. Finally. Goodness. So my plan for all these cabbages, look at that. Jean's mom likes loves to make sauerkraut. So she's gonna make some sauerkraut with them. And I'm going to try to make some kimchi this year. I want to get better at my fermenting, fermentation process. So I'm going to try some kimchi and get out my little recipe book and try some other ferments with this cabbage and with some of the radishes and uh, carrots and other vegetables that I got. But today I just want to get my cabbages harvested. Look at that. I am proud of these cabbages. Beautiful. This one is not quite ready. We'll wait on that one. I'm also going to take one of these cabbages for our dinner tonight. I think what I'm going to do, I haven't done this yet, 
but Jill at Whispering Willow Farms and Nathan gave me a good idea. They like to take their cabbage and um, like saute it in a pan with some garlic and olive oil and stuff. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Take this, kind of chop it up, put a little olive oil, sea salt, garlic, just make like a little stir fry with it. I've never really tried that before, but sure sounded good when she was talking about it. just beautiful well at least I got the broccoli and purple cauliflower and cabbages harvested today there's still quite a bit out here I need to get put up like kale I like to take the kale and put it up in like serving sizes uh, Ziploc bags and put that in the freezer and then I just pull it out and like you know stir fry it or throw it in soups or um, add it to our eggs or put it in smoothies or whatever during the summertime when the kale won't do as well. So I wanna get some of my kale put up too so that we have that for the summer. And I've got radishes to pick and I'm almost ready to get a big harvest of beets. And whenever I get those, I'm gonna make our detox juice, our kidney and liver detox juice. So many of you have asked about that and whenever I harvest those, I'm gonna make a video and we like to do that detox like the first of the new year and then around spring we usually do that but anytime i can get my hand on a load of beets we'll do the uh, liver and detox cleanse sure can't hurt you the more the better i still have a lot of wonderful food out here in the potage garden that's ready to be harvested and i'll be harvesting from this garden all winter which is really cool to be able to just walk out here in January and, and pull some vegetables, fresh vegetables and eat them. But I just wanted to spend some time with you guys today and tell you that we hope you had a very, very Merry Christmas. And Jean and I are looking forward to a new year with you guys. We are excited about all the new year has to bring. We've, we've got big plans for the garden for our animals, for this farm, and for you guys. And we are looking forward to a new year with y'all. I would really love to have some feedback from you guys for the new year for 2022. What you would like to see on our channel. Is there um, certain content that you would like to see? Is there uh, certain information that you would like to know more about? I know a lot of you are really interested in the potage garden and the cottage gardens and roses and perennials and growing all the lovely things. And I just would like to know, is there certain topics that you would like to see more of? Is there uh, questions that you have that maybe I could we could answer with a video? Is there videos that we did that you just really weren't a fan of and you really don't care about seeing that kind of content? We would love some feedback from y'all about what you would like to see more of in 2022 from us and from Just Dig It Farms. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Y'all have a blessed and fun and happy New Year's Eve. God bless you.